There's been a lot of talk about bringing USDC over to the Cardano blockchain and one of the barriers there is Circle's terms and that is to be able to freeze or claw back those USD assets from any address and stop them from being transferred out. And this is really important because they do a lot of work with regulators to try and stop funds moving for illegal activities. Now, technically that isn't possible on Cardano until you get a bunch of really smart developers stepping in and working it out. Now this here is a post from Mikhail and he is a brilliant smart contract developer. He's writing the DSL for uh, TypeScript on Cardano so you can use TypeScript to write smart contracts. And there's also other TypeScript based off-chain code so you can write all of your stuff in TypeScript. So that's really cool. But he's been working on this ERC20 like smart contract that will allow you to mint a token that will allow you to freeze those particular assets. So he's taken a little bit of time off his main project to work on this and he's got it working. So he's got a proof of concept here ready to go. And I had a look down here and also Matteo from Fluid Tokens mentioned that they've been working on a similar proof of concept uh, over the past few months. So I found out recently they've been working together to make this possible. Now let me play this little snippet from this X space that I did a little bit earlier with the Fluid Tokens team uh, through their LBE launch. But this is a little bit of alpha that uh, Matt gave me in regards to what they've been working on to make USD possible on Cardano. Uh, okay, in my spare time of the last day, which, which was not much, I was building a smart contract on Cardano with uh, another developer whose name is Michele, which is uh, very known in the Cardano community as well. We are basically building a smart contract to allow USDC on Cardano without having to change the Cardano architecture. And it will be out in a few days from now and it will be free for the community to use. So the idea is to create what is needed from the technological point of view to uh, onboard if we really want it, yes, DC. Now, if you look through here, he's created two accounts. He's minted the ARC20 Lite token on the first account and he's performed a transfer out. So that's all well and good. Now to, now to prove that this is possible, he's changed the state of the account from OK to frozen. I'll put the links to everything here so you can follow it. And sure enough, trying to do a transfer again resulted in a failed transaction. So that's the ability for someone to step in and freeze that account from sending out those assets. So absolutely brilliant. And that's what we need or what Circle needs to be able to uh, freeze assets and implement USDC on chain. So now that we have the smart contracts in place, we probably need some off-chain code and a little bit of auditing to do on the Cardano side of things. What are the next steps to make this possible? Do we need to contact Circle? Do we still need that tens of millions of dollars for to get them implementing this solution? Uh, I have no idea. If you guys have any idea or what the possibilities or roadmap is next for this, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below in the video there and maybe we can gather together what we have put together and put a proposal to Circle and see where they're at at the moment. This would be a, a totally a community driven effort to get Circle to implement it. So maybe now that the Cardano side of things has been reduced, uh, the barrier to entry there is a lot lower, Circle's fees might be a lot lower and all we need is a little bit of liquidity or a lot of liquidity to make it all happen. We'll see. If you enjoyed this video, give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click that notification bell. Lots of more Cardano related content coming to you really, really soon. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast.